everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I am out here in the garden with my wonderful, lovely assistants, Mary and Junior, and we are making some fresh soil mix, and we are going to be making a quick video today just about the ingredients that we put in and how we go about doing that. So the first thing that we did before we started was we went and we got a wagon full of all of this compost from our big compost pile that we have in the back and the kids were huge helps with that. They got their shovels and put a bunch in here and then we wheeled this back. So compost is always the number one ingredient that I say. It's the most important thing that you can add to your soil and it is something that is going to help drastically improve your plants success that they have. It will help prevent the amount of fertilizer that you need to use help your plants thrive and it'll feed them actually from the soil. First of all, they already did this step. They put in some of the compost into a bucket over here for me and we're just going to measure out equal amounts of each of these ingredients that we're going to be doing. So first of all, we're going to put a bucket of compost in. Who wants to do that? Me, me. Okay. Whoever gets to it first. Okay, Mary. Okay, put that into there. Dump it in there. Can you lift it? Oh, that was heavy. Very good job. I have Mary and Junior now working on the second step. We have some coconut core over here that we soaked in some water in this tote over here. It came in a big brick. And all you need to do is just put that brick into somewhere where you can cover it with some water and then it will break down into this for you. And this is one of our other ingredients that we use in our soil mix, which is really important because it really helps to give some sustenance into your soil. And it really helps to, to help retain some moisture into your soil too. You can also substitute peat moss for coconut core if you can't find it and that is sometimes easier to find. We prefer to do the coconut core over the peat moss just because it works a little bit better and it's also a renewable resource whereas peat moss is not. Okay, so we filled that bucket up now. Now, Junior, do you wanna dump this bucket out now into there? Yep. Okay. Push it over. Good job. Oh, good. <laughs> you get that lifted? Good job. The third ingredient that we use is vermiculite. Vermiculite is something that is really important to add to your soil mix because this really helps to retain moisture. So vermiculite is one that if you see this in your soil, it's like these little white almost rock-like things. So these right here are really important to have in your soil and we do an equal amount of those also. So I'm going to add in another bucket full and I'm keeping the kids back just because it is really important to make sure that you are not to breathe this in. So I'm gonna make sure that I do it and be really careful about any dust. And it did get watered a little bit, so it's not gonna be super dusty for us. Okay, so I filled up that bucket with the vermiculite and now I'm just going to hose it down just a little bit. So that way, whenever I dump this out into this raised bed over here, it's not going to go flying everywhere because it is a very windy day also. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these a little bit wet so that way it doesn't fly away. And I don't think I said before too, you can substitute, if you can't find vermiculite, you can substitute some perlite with it, but per, we found that perlite doesn't quite work as good as the vermiculite, so we always prefer to do that, but it is a, a substitute if you can't find this. OK, 
Okay, so all I need to do now is just take all of these three ingredients that we put in there and just mix them up together. Okay, and I'm gonna mix you're going to mix up some up too. Here you go. You take that. And I moistened down that vermiculite red too, so that way it shouldn't be flying. Here, you want to hop in there? I'll hold those for you. There you go. So I'm going to put them to work. I'm going to take a break and watch them. Okay, so we're just going to finish off mixing this up and that's about it to soil making. It's really simple and it is a lot cheaper to do it this way if you are going to be making a lot of raised beds, especially if you're gonna be buying bag soil, it's way better to do this and make it yourself. So all you need is just the three ingredients, compost and peat moss or coconut core and then the vermiculite or perlite. And we always do equal amounts of each. And if you're interested to learn more about this soil mix, this came from the foot gardening method, which was, it's called Mel's Mix. I have a blog post all about it that I will share down below as well. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody and we will see y'all next time.